Welcome back to another video guys. So I had to post this video and it's about the Blackberry Venus if that will be the name of the device. So uh, every now and then the internet gets to buzz in and there's something good to talk about. And this time it's actually Blackberry. So Blackberry, in my opinion, they've kind of abandoned, because I'm jumping straight in, they've abandoned their Blackberry users, their loyal Blackberry users. I've been a Blackberry user since day one. Some people probably probably haven't, but I have. Literally, I've, I've been using BlackBerry. Even when people gave up on them, I still use them. So, um, the BlackBerry Venus is a so that's the, the name for now. We don't know if it's going to change. Um, BlackBerry Slider would just be great to me. Um, the BlackBerry Slider Venus, whatever, it's running Android. Now, there's this. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of crazy that people. Some people are in denial. In my opinion, this is not a BlackBerry. BlackBerry would be running their own operating system if it was a BlackBerry. So I posted a tweet <clears throat> last week about BlackBerry just kind of saying, forget everybody, we're going to go use a lifeline and reach over to Android to save our, our company. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's how I still feel. If you have an operating system that's solid like BlackBerry, but you're not getting the support, um, do you just abandon it and keep the name and put a different operating system on your devices? That's what BlackBerry is doing. If you think right now that this new BlackBerry slider is a BlackBerry just because it has the hub, something's wrong. You're not a hardcore BlackBerry fan like you say you are. Because BlackBerry 10 is one of the best operating systems that has ever hit the internet. But some people don't know that, or some just hit the hit phones, I should say, that was talked about on the internet. Some people don't know that because they don't take the time, just like they didn't take the time with the Amazon Fire Phone, thus creating it flop. But the Amazon Fire Phone is a great phone. Same thing with WebOS, top of the line. Symbian, top of the line. But when, when the times change and people shift, it's understandable that, you know, things are going to change. It's going to shift in a new direction. So... The point I'm making is, I personally feel like this isn't a BlackBerry. This is an Android device with BlackBerry written on the top of it. And then they add this fake like hub that they're going to put in there. And everybody talks about security, security, security. Okay, <clears throat> other operating systems are secure. Don't want to get into that, but other operating systems are secure. So get over thinking that BlackBerry is the only device that can post and make a secure device or operating system. Don't be naive. Now. The slider should be a hot device, in my opinion, if it was running BlackBerry 10. Why on earth would you abandon your current users, and you don't have many, you already don't have the support that you should have, because you're not marketing your devices right, you're not pushing them right. Um, a whole bunch of things are wrong with the way BlackBerry 10 is put out there. And the only reason sometimes it's put out there is from people like me and you, who truly love BlackBerry 10. If you like BlackBerry 10, you won't pr you you probably won't like this slider because you can just go buy an Android phone. This is an Android phone, but I can just write BlackBerry on the bottom down there and take off that LG, and then boom, it's a BlackBerry, and I add Universal Search, which it already has, and then put a fake like skin like hub on here. I have BBM on all of my devices. So, how do you feel about the BlackBerry? Venus at the time is what it's being called. Shout out to Blackberry Hank for surfacing, uh, putting the video out there. I finally saw it in action, and when I saw it, it's an Android device. Hank, Hank, you don't have to say it. <laughs> Hank, Hank says it's implemented. It's a, it's a Blackberry device running Android services or something. He told me on Twitter, my man, I forgot. Some device running Blackberry features, something like that. Hank, it's an Android device. It's an Android device, buddy. It's just that simple. There is no way you're going to sell me and tell me that this slider BlackBerry that they're calling it is running a full Android suite. It's a BlackBerry. This is an iPhone. But if I put Android on it and it's still labeled an iPhone, is it an iPhone? Of course not. Like I said, BlackBerry has abandoned their loyal users to step out of the circle because they're feeling the pressure of people buying their devices or their devices not selling like they should and they're using a lifeline to try to get saved but they should stick to blackberry 10 
that device, that slider should be running BlackBerry 10. That's what it should be running. And they need to release more devices. Do you like Samsung and LG and just release a flurry of devices? You'll sell them. You know what? <clears throat> I made a video saying uh, why I'm not buying the BlackBerry Leap. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and buy the BlackBerry Leap. I'm not saying I'm not going to mess with the slider, but I have tons of Android devices. And so what? They're not a slider. So what? It has the functionality of the Passport keyboard. So what? It's an Android phone. And if you think it's not an Android phone, tell me why in the comments. Because it says BlackBerry? Come on, man. This BlackBerry has totally just abandoned us. And I say us because I've been, I've been rocking their devices and, and giving lots of money to BlackBerry, a lot of promoting on my channel for BlackBerry. And I'm kind of tired on it, uh, of it. I, I said on Twitter uh, last week in November, if they don't bring it with this slider, um, you know, I'm done. I'm not going to buy any more of their products. I stand firm on that. And when I said that, a bunch of immature people jumped on there and started attacking me on Twitter. <laughs> I, th I thought it was hilarious. I just muted them out. I didn't even read any more of the tweets. But the fact of the matter is, if you're a true BlackBerry fan, you'll know that this device should be running BlackBerry OS, not Android. So, I have two Blackberries in my hand here. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is what they're trying to convince you. This is a BlackBerry, even though it looks like an iPhone and uh, it's got uh, Android in here, but it's, it's, it's an iPhone. But this is a BlackBerry. It's running Android, but it's a BlackBerry. Come on, man. If you got a loyal follow following BlackBerry, you need to stay with BlackBerry. Don't get sucked into just because your devices aren't selling 10 million like the iPhone or, or Samsung. So what? It's not about how many people you sell the device to because a lot of the people that are buying are current current um, people who have an iPhone. Like I bought the iPhone 6S Plus, but I already have an iPhone. So it's nothing new to me. Get it? I bought the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, but I already had a Galaxy Note. I already know about it. You want to pull in new users and trying to pull in Android users by making an, a, an Android device and labeling it BlackBerry, that's not going to do it. You need to stick with what's working for you. BlackBerry 10 is beautiful. Why change it? Why make another? It just It's kind of weird. It's like Windows Phone trying to run Android. I, I don't know any other way to, to say it. If you feel like this new slider is a BlackBerry, you need to go reevaluate your true loyal blackberry nest. Right? I, that, that sounded good. Yeah, but the, the slider that they're bringing out, it's not a blackberry. It's an Android phone. So, tell me how you feel in the comments. It's your man, Jay Will. I will see you in the next one. Hank, my man. And I had to give you a shout out, dog. Peace.